Hi everyone, so in today's video we will be going over line weights and line types as well as creating a layout in Rhino and then how to print that out. So diving into the line weights and line types, sometimes you want line weights because you want to create more emphasis in the drawings, so certain elements will be a thicker uh, print um, width as they call it in, in Rhino, or you make it thinner, right, so then it will recede. So typically walls will be a bit thicker, uh, doors and windows may be something in between, and then furniture elements might be thinner. So we kind of have each of these in this basic floor plan. If you uh, want to look at a video that we did previously on how to draft an architectural floor plan, feel free to take a look at that by uh, viewing some of our previous videos. But yeah, so diving into how do you begin to change some of the line types and line weights. If you look at uh, the options and layers panel, um, you can begin to see that as part of the settings. If you don't have this panel, you can go to edit object properties and then make sure that you click on this pie shape icon. That's the layers panel. So you can always scroll over because there are things that um, are different, right? So line type, that's if it's like a solid line or a dashed line. Right now we don't have any that are dashed lines, so maybe I'll just make one. I'll call it header. And let's pretend we have a header, um, you know, somewhere here, right? So imagine this was like a door opening. There actually has a header above here. So we would maybe draw a dashed line. So let's do end to end. So I'll just draw another line maybe coming across there, right? And then let's change the line type under here to hidden. You'll notice that the line is hard to see when it comes to this, unless you zoom in pretty far. So that's to deal with the line type scale. To fix that, you can type in document properties. And then if you wait for it, if you go to line type, it's the scale here. So I might just change this to 50. That's a bit better. Um, next, is thinking about the thickness, right? So I'm going to be pretty conservative here. Uh, let's make my walls 0.35, maybe 0.5. Not sure. Or we can do custom one, I think. So 0.4. Doors, let's do 0.25. Furniture, let's make it the thinnest. Uh, either hairline or 0.13. Let's try hairline, see what that looks like. Windows, let's do 0.18. And then headers, we'll make it match the doors. So we had a 0.25. So that's pretty good. So we've kind of set all that. And then we don't want it to print like in the model, right? Reds and blues and purples. We want it all black and white. So let's change the print colors. If you maybe select, is there an option to select all? I press shift, press and hold shift, and then I clicked the last layer that selected all. Let's see if I can do that. Make sure that it's black. Okay, so that's great. So they'll all print black, hopefully. Next, we have, um, we want to set up the layout, right? So if you hit on this plus sign here, you can choose new layout. Um, you can choose the size, 11 by 17, really depends on what you're printing on. I think this is a pretty standard size. We can call it uh, ground floor plan, I'm going to hit OK. So there you have it. Now, uh, this is called a detail view. You can always change it to something smaller if you'd like. So something like that, let's say. And we don't want it to print, so I can change this to say detail view. Make it a no print layer. So you can change the layer by holding on this pie shape button 
and then the second from the left, you can also type in change layer and then choose the detail view. So now when we plot that, it won't print. Uh, the next thing to think about is, you know, the scale of this, right? So right now we can't even see the whole drawing. We want to make sure that it fits. So if I double click inside, then I go to my object properties. Here you can type in the scale. So I'll type in 1 to 100. That's a common scale. So that fits. That's great, right? So when you're in the view, you can right click and reposition it. So you hold the right mouse button and then you can reposition it like that. Make sure that this doesn't change in that process, right? So if I zoom in and out, it might change the scale by accident. So again, I have to type in one to 100 and then I can reposition it. And then once you're good, you can double click on the outside. So that's great. You can also um, either copy the view, right? So then you have another viewport at the same scale, and you can double click and reposition it, right? So if you had another floor plan, um, you could always reposition your viewport or detail view and, you know, have another floor plan in here so you can kind of shift this over, right? So I think that's okay for now. And um, notice that I think right now it's not uh, printing according to the layout. But we can make sure that that happens. Uh, there are other ways to change the colors. So if it doesn't work, then we can try a different thing. Um, next is I want to add some text. So I'm going to add a title. So if I type in text in the command line, um, let's make this larger, let's say six, and I'm going to call it ground floor plan. And then I'll just position it here. Oh, I forgot to make that active, so I'll have to change the layer. And I'll select text, so that's good. Again, I'll type in text call the second floor plan and then I can just match that height so that it's working. All right, so I think we're ready to print. So I can right click print. So right now you can see what it looks like. It's still printing as the color for some reason. So I want to make sure that that doesn't happen. One way is to choose black and white and others choose the print color. So we have already set the print color to black. So I think that is perfect. Um, and I think that's good. Um, just want to make sure oh, layout size is 11 by 17. We want it to be landscape. So now it matches what we've set in the model. Um, scale is 100%, so that's perfect because we set the scales already. Margins and posi position, we don't need to worry about that. Line type, we've already set it in the model, so that should be okay. Um, okay, so let's see what that looks like. Let's print it. Let's call it ground floor plan. Okay, let's say ground floor plan layout, <laughs> do some tests. So that looks pretty good. Uh, always check by going, typing 100% in Adobe. So you can see zoomed in, these lines are actually quite thick. You got the hidden line here. So that's not bad. We could tone it down a bit or we could choose the hatchet, right? So maybe we'll try both. So if we go back to Rhino, we can choose to tone that down to 0.35. And if we go to the model space, uh, top view, let's create a new layer for hatch. Make that active. And then now if you go to the command line and type in hatch, then you can select the curves. 
that you want to hatch. So just go around selecting all of these. Hit enter. You can choose the type of hatch, so you could have lines and squares, interesting things. I'll just choose solid for now and hit OK. And again, we might want not want it to print black, so we could change it to like a gray color. Let's go here. And for now, it's displaying as black. If we think it's too harsh, we can always change it to match our print color just to test that out. I think it looks pretty good. So again, we'll print. I think make sure that it's 11 by 17 landscape print color. I think that's good. Okay, so print that. Do layout two. See what that looks like. And again, I'll zoom at 100%. See. So that looks pretty good. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. This is the basics of setting up a layout, printing it out, setting your line weights, line types, and you could always do a lot more um, when it comes to making your plans look even better. You might even want to bring it into a program like Adobe Illustrator and you could do much fancier things, but I'll save that for another video. So if you got value out of this, please like this video. It helps with the algorithm and uh, comment below if you learned something new. Is there anything that we missed that you'd like us to touch on in a future video? Let us know and subscribe to our channel if you'd like more videos on Rhino and other architecture and design related topics.